tutor for Japanese 1A. There are 12 lessons in a semester. Each lesson is about three hours long, which means that there are a total of 36 hours of classroom instruction in a semester. Now, three hours might seem quite long for a lesson, so we usually have a 15-minute break around the middle of the lesson. At the end of each semester, there are three assessments. A short listening assessment, a short reading comprehension assessment, and a short writing assessment. If you are studying Japanese 1A for interest, you have the choice of whether to do or not to do these three assessments. However, if you are studying Japanese 1A for credit, you have to do all three assessments. The textbook that you will be using for Japanese 1A is called Mino no Nihongo. I will say that one more time. Mina no Nihongo. You can either order this from the university bookshop or online. There are 20 chapters in this book and we will study the first five chapters during Japanese 1A. Every chapter has the same pattern. It is divided into four parts. The first part is called the sentence pattern, or in Japanese, the bunkei part. And this part introduces you to the new vocabulary and the new grammar that will be studied in the chapter. The second part is called the example sentences, or in Japanese, the reibun part. This part is usually five or six short sentences that show you how the new grammar and the new vocabulary are actually used. The third part is called the conversation, or in Japanese, the kaiwa part. This is usually a short conversation between two people that introduces you to all the new grammar and all the new vocabulary that is in the lesson. The fourth part is called the practice part, or in Japanese, the renshu part. This is usually the longest part and consists of a variety of reading, writing, and listening exercises to give you plenty of practice using the new grammar and the new vocabulary. There are three further things that I would recommend you bring to your Japanese 1B classes. The first is a dictionary. There are a lot of different dictionaries that you can buy either at the university bookshop or online. However, I would recommend Kodansha's Furigana Dictionary. This both Japanese English and an English Japanese dictionary. Kodansha is the name of the publisher of this dictionary. I also would recommend that you bring a ring binder um, to keep together all the notes that you will get during your Japanese 1A lessons. Finally, I recommend that you bring pen and paper to each lesson. I would next like to introduce you to some classroom vocabulary that you will hear me use in almost every class. The first word is hajime masho. Hajime masho. And you will hear me say this at the start of a lesson. This means let's start. The second word is owari masho. Owari masho. You will hear me say this word at the end of each lesson. And this means, let's finish. So we have hajime masho at the start of a lesson, and owari masho at the end of the lesson. The third word is yasumi masho. Now I mentioned earlier that we will take a short 15 minute break in the middle of 
each lesson? Well, yasumi no sho means let's take a break. And this one indicates that we're about to start our 15 minute break. Now, I will introduce you to a lot of new grammar and new vocabulary in each lesson. So, there are three other phrases that you will hear me use often. The first is, wakarimasu ka? Wakarimasu ka? And wakarimasu ka means, do you understand? You can either reply, hai, wakarimasu. Hai, wakarimasu. Which means, yes. I understand. Or, iye wakarimasen. Iye wakarimasen. Which means, no, I don't understand. So, one more time. Wakarimasu ka? Hai, wakarimasu. Yes, I understand. Or, iye wakarimasen. No, I don't understand. So, one more time. Hajime masho, owari masho, yasumi masho, wakarimasu ka? Hai, wakarimasu. Iye, wakarimasen. I would next like to introduce you to introducing yourself in Japanese. Now, in Japanese, if I want to say hello, I would say, Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I would then like to say my name. In my case, as I mentioned earlier, I am Stephen. So in Japanese, I would say, Watashiwa Stephen Des. So if I wanted to say, Hello, I am Stephen in Japanese. Konnichiwa. Watashiwa Stephen Des. If I then wanted to say nice to meet you, I would say dozo yoroshiku. Dozo yoroshiku. So putting this all together, if I wanted to say hello, I am Stephen, nice to meet you. Konnichiwa, watashi wa Stephen des. Dozo yoroshiku. Please try and practice introducing yourself in Japanese before you come to your first class. Now, there is one final thing I would like you to do in preparation for your first class. I would like you to either go to the library or to look online for something that you find interesting, surprising, or amusing about Japan and be pre prepared to tell the other students about this in your first lesson. Well, I hope you understood this very short introduction to your Japanese 1A class and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you very much.